My name is Anita Sultirovska Shalamon. I am a neonatologist working in the Department of Neonatology, University Children's Hospital, Ljubljana, Slovenia. Our manuscript in October 2016 issue of Development Medicine and Child Neurology is about neurological presentation and neuroimaging findings in a newborn infant with incontinentia pigmenti. This work was done together with colleagues from six neonatal intensive care units in Europe and uh, newborn infants with incontinentia pigmenti were collected over more than 10 years. Incontinentia pigmenti is a rare X-linked genodermatosis with an estimated prevalence at birth of 0.7 per 1,100. The CNS is frequently involved in incontinentia pigmenti patients with an overall case prevalence of neurological manifestations in 10 to 30 percent. In this case serious study, the clinical and neurological course, including neuroimaging and follow-up data of eight newborn infants with the neurological phenotype of IP were retrospectively reviewed. While the clinical picture was polymorphic, the neurological manifestations were defined as encephalopathic and comprised lethargy and seizures in all but one of the infants. Infants with incontinentia pigmenti have a characteristic pattern of MRI abnormalities, which are especially apparent on diffusion-weighted imaging and susceptibility-weighted imaging. MRI abnormalities were predominantly seen in the white matter. Diffusion-weighted imaging was obtained during the acute phase in the seven of eight infants showing restricted diffusion in the deep and subcortical white matter, but also in the corpus callosum, basal ganglia, salami, cerebellum, and cerebral penduncles. Susceptibility-weighted imaging showed a variable amount of signal loss, mainly in the white matter within areas of restricted diffusion. Extensive MRI abnormalities in the newborn infants were followed by abnormal neurodevelopment with significant motor, cognitive and or visual problems. This case series adds important insights into the pattern of injury in incontinentia pigmenti, demonstrating lesions with both ischemic and hemorrhagic characteristics, which probably occurred secondary to inflammation at the time of particular vulnerability in the neonatal brain. Deletion analysis of IKBKG gene, previously named NEMA, showed the recurrent axon 4 to 10 deletion in a five of, all of our eight patients. We would like to recommend performing an MRI to assess the extent of CNS involvement, as the punctate lesions best seen with diffusion-weighted imaging are very characteristic. The MRI may help with the diagnosis of the incontinentia pigmenti adding susceptibility-weighted imaging to the MR protocol may show a mixture of hemorrhagic and ischemic lesions. Thank you.